Hello. In this video, we're going to write a really basic example that uses a for in range loop. And we're going to write a loop that will take an input n and then take n inputs from the user. The program should then should should then output the sum after the values are inputted. Simple enough. So in this case, one of the key ideas here is that I can actually take a variable and use that variable to influence how the loop runs. So I'm going to start off by making a variable n, and I'm going to take an input of type string. How many values would you like to take? And so I'm going to take a value n, and now I'm going to set up my for in range loop. So I'm going to say for i in range, 0, comma, and I can go to n, comma, 1. So my i, my counter, is going to start at 0, and it's going to continue as long as it's less than n, and it's going to change each time by 1. And I could say something like val is equal to int, input, input number. And I can say sum is equal to the sum plus the number, or val, pardon me. Now I do have a little problem here. And you might identify, and this is a good one to make sure you can identify, is that the fact that be careful, I'm using sum in a self-referencing assignment statement for the first time. So the problem is sum has no value. So we have to make sure we come up here and we declare sum, and we initialize it to some value. So if I run this now, it says, how many, oh, it does make this a little better, how many values would I like to take? I can take three values, I'm going to say one, two, three, and my total is six. I could run this again, and I could take, I'm going to take six values, I'm going to say five, negative five, 0, 1, 3, 4, and I get 8. So again, really simple example, but what we're trying to illustrate here is the fact that you can actually take a variable input and then use that to influence how many times that loop runs. Now, perhaps I want to kind of just to spice this up a bit. Perhaps I want to set up a situation where the user has to input a positive number here because this, a negative number wouldn't make sense here. So this is where I could use a conditional loop. And I could say while well, n is less than 0, and I could say n is equal to int input, I said how many, or something like, you can't take negative number of inputs. I don't know, something like that. How many? So now, You'll notice if I run my program, I've added a little bit of a, a little bit more, a more robust program. Because if I say how many inputs would you like to take, and I put negative one, you can't take a negative number of inputs. How many? And now I say three, and then I can say one, two, three, and there's my sum. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.